Okay, as much as I'm sure it would be incredibly helpful for you to see my face explain this, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to walk through the steps on the pyramids real quick. So this one is a square pyramid. Your pyramid is going to be identified through its base. So if this one is a square and one of the sides is five, then the area of your base, you end up with A equals, we'll just do length times width, A equals five multiplied by five. So 25 square inches is your base. Now your triangles, there are a couple different ways you can do it. Let's talk a super easy basic way. So your triangle, you have your base and your height here. Your base is five, your height is eight. And so our formula is always half times the base times the height. So we're gonna have a half multiplied by five multiplied by eight, which means one of the triangles is 20 square inches. Now, you have a square pyramid, so that means that you have four identical triangles. So we're just going to multiply that by four. 80 square inches. The surface area of the entire thing, you add those two together. So I have this, and I have this. So the surface area of this pyramid is 105 inches squared. Now, I, I'm going to send you some examples of what the work would really look like neatly, <laughs> but I think this is going to kind of give you a little bit of an idea. Now, this one is just a little bit different pyramid. So this one is a triangular pyramid, which means you're going to have a triangle for the base. So you notice on the base of this one, our base, is going to be the same thing, half times the base times the height. You're going to end up having an area that is a half multiplied by 10 is your base, and 8.7 is going to be height on the bottom here, right there. So if we do a half multiplied by 10, multiplied by 8.7, you're going to end up with half of 87, which ends up as 43.5 meters squared. Now, you're also, your base of this one is 10, and your height of the side of the pyramid, lateral face, which you'll probably hear in the video, so you're talking about A equals a half times 14 times 10. And so if you multiply those together, one way to go is go half of 14 is 7. 7 times 10, 70 meters squared. But remember, that's just one of the faces of the pyramid. And since it's a triangular pyramid, we have three. So we're going to take that, we're going to multiply by 3. That means that the lateral faces of the pyramid are 210 meters squared. So if we add our 210 meters squared to our 43.5, we're going to end up with surface area equals 253.5. Five meters squared all together. I know your work is going to look a whole lot neater than mine. I know. I know. Shock. But that'll do it for now. Also, if we look at this, when you're going to be able to solve real life application problems, this one, your roof is shaped like a square pyramid. One is going to cover 25 square feet. How many bundles should you buy to cover the roof? So think about it this way. You're only covering the roof. So the base of this square pyramid, we don't need. So what I would do for this is if we do a half times base times height, 
a equals half multiplied by 18 multiplied by 15, which means you're going to end up with an area of one side of the pyramid of 135 square feet. Now remember, we've got four of them. So if we multiply that by four, that's going to give us 540 square feet for the entire roof. Now we wanted to solve and figure out how many bundles, if each one covers 25 square feet, if you do 540 and you divide it by 25, you will move with 22 bundles. And a little bit left over, but it's all good. All right, everybody. Good luck.